Guys, it's Chickens here, bringing you another Warships video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be getting into some chest openings and upgrades. So, let's get into it. Now, a couple of you said to move the, change the micro, microphone, uh, adjust the microphone volume down. So, I'm just going to push a little bit further away from you. So, let me know if that fixes it. Alright, so, we're just going to get into some battles here. I got, uh... Uh, we're sitting at four to four chests uh, again, so we got to step it up a little bit here guys uh, Let's go one two three, and then we got the uh, you know who's in the back the bombers in the back uh, Let's go one two and one now It's kind of changed how I do this strategy now um, It's a lot more so the riflemen are just an initial meat shield for uh, the bombardiers and really nothing else um, they don't really offer a ton of uh, a, t a ton of value outside of the the initial uh, landing and you know I kind of just hope to get uh, a lot of the prototypes and stuff out of the way with that gunboat energy and then uh, we, we kind of figure it out from there so uh, depending on where he places everything it's uh, you know it's usually it's usually all the bombers it's usually the bombers doing like hundred percent of the work so uh, we're gonna see if that is gonna be the case for this battle here uh, so we got, uh, I think we got a shock over here. Let's use a med kit there. It's amazing the, uh, the max bombers as well. The, the amount of health that they have. That they can really just, uh, they can survive a lot. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to pull these guys back. Because they're going to grab that engine. Uh, let's smoke them here. That one's going to go down, but that's okay. So we're at least going to get, uh, we're at least going to get them down to two engines. Which is important. Um, so we're going to go like that. And then I'm going to... I'm gonna kind of go back up here, I think, staying away from the shock blaster because that's pretty deadly at the moment. Uh, so he's got us down to two. Let's see if we can. Uh, it's almost a game of chess, depending on how this works. So let's go like this. Uh, okay, his shock blaster did become in range there. Uh, okay, so shock launcher is anything else in range? That boom cannon in range doesn't look like it just yet. So let's go like this and put a shock down. Ah, he's gonna beat us. Well, I might as well just go ahead and retreat at this point. Maybe what would have been a better idea would have been to flare them uh, closer to that engine, like behind that shock launcher, because I don't think anything would have reached us then. But I don't know. That was kind of tough. That guy had a, a, he had two shock launchers and two prototypes and three rocket launchers. It's a lot more than we have on our defense. Um, so, you know, we'll grab a couple engines. We'll get out. We'll get some upgrades going, and uh, we'll kind of replan our strategy uh, from here. So. We got uh, 240k upgrades to upgrade. Um, so what I'm gonna do? And we can up, up, we can unlock shock launchers, but um, I think I'm gonna go with the shock blaster. That seems to be a little bit more anti uh, bombardier than anything else. So let's let's grab the shock blaster, guys, and let's put him right about. I honestly don't know what the best position is. Maybe right here, but then it's shockable with that laser. Let's throw it back here, I think, and then throw that, uh, and, th and we'll throw this rock launcher up this way, and then we kind of have, uh, I'll actually bring this down a little bit so it's a little bit further away from that laser beam. That should make things a little bit, a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher anyways. Um, I still need to redesign my base again, I know I always say that, but, uh, okay, so we got that done. Now what do you want to upgrade? I'm thinking the shock bomb, guys. Uh, but or should we focus on defenses still? I could upgrade the flamethrowers to max, which would probably be helpful. Um, we should go sniper towers too. Uh, do we get an extra flamethrower? No way. Um, gunboat energy, max up, come on. That's not going to give us any more second wins. That's not really worth doing either. Uh, you know what? We're going to be using shock bombs so much. Some of you might cringe, but I think that's going to be... I think it's going to be a safe upgrade for now, because we are going to need them, you know, eventually at some point anyway. So, uh, we might as well get them going at the moment. So, this guy has two, four, five engines. This looks to be a little bit more fair. So, let's try to... Let's try to win this one, guys. Let's try to win this one. So, I'm going to start off. One, two, one, two. I'm going to take that laser beam down. I'm going to get a nice, uh, nice healthy wall of rifleman in first. And then let's get uh, let's get all our gramps and all of our rifles coming in uh, at the same time. The rock launcher should touch up the rifles, which would just gonna bring uh, Kavon to that front line, which is what we want. 
Um, okay, once that uh, once that mortar goes down, I might reflare everybody. Um, let's actually try this. I think that makes sense. A little shock here, so nothing takes out Kavon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that was the right call or not, but we'll see here in a second. So let's get a second win. I just want to. Uh, I just want to make sure we're coming on a good angle and not just getting smoked by everything at once. Uh, one more artillery. We'll take that down. Uh, okay. Now this might come down to time. It might come down to time here, guys. Now I do want to make sure that uh, that I keep reflaring them a little bit. Okay, that's gonna be enough to take down that engine. Man, those guys do some massive damage. Um, okay, so let's get a second win going here, and we're going to kind of uh, follow this base down. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this next engine, and I'm going to flare back and uh, and take down that last one, I think. And that should be good for uh, that should be good for time, as well as making sure that we get the engine down. So let's go like this. Um, 42. I don't really need another second win. I guess I'll use it. Uh, and then let's go down this way, I think. I don't know. I, f I have a feeling that he's going to beat us on time here, but as long as we got all five engines, that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Uh, let's go like this for that flamethrower that's about to come in and the machine gun. So we'll clear out a couple of these defenses. Then I'm just going to lock the engine um, because nothing else can be arranged. Basically, as soon as that, I, I think as soon as that mortar goes down, then we're okay to just lock on the engine room uh, without risk of any of the gramps going. Okay, we don't have enough for shock, but that's fine. It's fine that I upgraded shock. I only ended up using it once, so maybe not the greatest idea, but uh, boom, there we go. Okay. See that? We used, we used the shock, says. We used the shock, so. Let's get into another battle here. He actually wasn't able to take down our base, so let's quickly take a peek at uh, how that shock blaster helped us out, and if we need to put it into a different position. Uh, okay, so he went heavy Zenzukas. Interesting. He wanted to get those rocket launchers and that laser beam out of the way as quickly as possible, and he uh, used gumbo energy on the shock blast from back. Okay, so maybe what I need to do after looking at that is spread out those rocket launchers a little bit, because that looked that did look a little bit too easy to uh, to come in and uh, take that down. So let's move this over here, I think, and then swap it with this guy. Gives us a little more coverage, a little less easy to to just kind of shock everything or run up and destroy everything very easily. Um, alright, so this guy's got, whew, this guy's got a laser. One, two, one. Okay, that's down, and I'll throw one in the center there. That should give us enough to come out with basically all of our troops. There we go. Good start, I think. Uh, the riflemen are going to come up first. And... So all we gotta watch for is that shock blaster and that other rocket up top. Just make sure that our riflemen stay a little bit healthy until we get to that point, then we should be good to go. Uh, let's go. I think we start the shock party now. Let's go like that. Okay. Looking all right. Let's get another shock down. go okay and we're gonna shock there again so the shocks coming in pretty handy on this battle uh, let's get you down okay and we're just going to take down that boom cannon, and then we're going to be good to go. One and two, I think. Let's flare up this way, just in case. Damn, he's going to get us in time. Uh, that's okay, though. Easy, 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 guys. I don't know why they always shoot backwards. It's kind of funny. Okay, let's just flare up this way. It is what it is. I mean, whatever. We got very close to, uh, to beating it, so... Um... I think we're still doing okay. Overall, I think we're still doing okay. So, guys, make sure to let me know down below in that comment section how you guys are making out of warships. Um, if you're still using bombardiers or if you're way up in legendary and you're finding something else to be useful, uh, let me know what that troop composition is down below in that comment section. And, guys, ouch, 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 40 seconds. Um, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. 
that is going to wrap it up for the video today. Do we have any upgrades? No, I'm just going to save them. Um, access to sniper towers, whatever. Um, yeah, okay, I think that makes sense. And we get an extra sniper tower to that. So I need to redesign my base. Um, you guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next week, guys. Chicken out. Bye, bye, bye.